smooth. <laughs> okay, so let's shall we talk about the map or like who's where and Yes. So in the top left, in the color red, we have Mr. Timmy. And he's playing India. In the bottom right, we see Bramboy playing Ottoman. So as I was talking about during the apparent lag test, which was totally not Bramboy for getting to switch to the UI map. Um, there will probably be some Janissaries and Bromboy will most likely rush. <laughs> because he is Ottoman and they are a very, very linear Sith. Well, India, on the other hand, can do a lot of things. Maybe with the coin start he will actually rush because it's very bad for India. Yeah, and of course, Ottoman always starts with quite a lot of wood so he can immediately get a TP. And Bram, of course, I think this is his national anthem. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, it, it might also just be like a Dutch, like, how do you say this? Um, like, oath to your king or whatever, but I think it's his national anthem. Uh, I don't know what it's about, but. Uh, it's about uh, the. What's his name? You know, the, the guy that, that you actually play when you're playing the Dutch Sith. Yeah, like, Willem of Nassau yeah. is, like, uh, their king or whatever. Yeah, actually, I actually can somewhat derive uh, those words to German. He's basically, like, saying, I'm gonna be faithful to my country, is more or less what it comes down to. <laughs> All right, but we, we see some elephants stalking his explorer. Ooh, it's never fun, of course, to get stomped by an elephant. Uh, they are yeah, quite heavy. Yeah, now monkey was elephant. I, I believe the elephant wins this. Uh, Freitag is not long for this world if he or she stays there. Yeah, if, if Freitag was Duber, he would win. Uh, for sure, because Duber kills everything except yes. the mighty Onoraburu Samurai. Yeah. So, uh, the <laughs> whatever. Um, the <laughs> goats in the middle go to Bramboy. There are always two bunched up there. Ooh, but India might steal this one goat that Bramboy was a bit late with um, bringing to his CC. And yeah, there it is. Now you see if Mr. Timmy actually realizes he just like randomly stole a goat. I, I say no, and the monkey will get it back. Oh no, he actually does. Oh no, 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 no! Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Bramboy collecting. And this is also team. like a very awkward goat. How do you get that back to your base? Uh, well, I guess. There, there, there. <laughs> oh, and he's gonna like. Sh yeah, that's gonna get stolen by Freitag as well. Yeah. Oh, that sucks for uh, Timmy. Freitag is such a thief. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it it's fine. He got. The Wait, no, never mind. I thought it was a go, but it's another Freitag. Ram has two Freitags. That that's all the Freitags. So, so shall we. Actually, talk about the decks or something? Ah, uh, possibly. By the way, <laughs> Bramboy is already like aging up, so. Oh, and India actually has only the 600 gold of those crates. Yeah, that's actually a very strange H2 deck. I don't even know what this one does. Building wood cost decreased, and build times are. Okay, that's a card. He also has both training speed cards. This is incredibly strange. And of yeah, course, this that's, is that's neither an Athena deck. It's just a today. maybe fortress deck. But why? No, nah, I'm not sure. It's maybe it's just bad. Yeah, I'm not sure. Wow, <laughs> forward Agra against Ottoman. That's very risky. It does put a lot of pressure on this trading post, though, so it might not be too bad. The problem is like Ottoman is going to be aged up before Timmy is like a quarter finished. Yeah. And these elephants are still trying to catch Freitag. <laughs> oh man, he, he really wants that monkey down. For sure. Well, there are still two goats undiscovered. Ooh, but nice wood treasure now. here for Ottoman. Let's take a look at the treasures, actually. Uh, Macaque, yeah, Macaque. Oh, he got another treasures. wood treasure as well. So yeah, that's 130 wood or something that Bramboy will have. Yeah, that, that will help him so much. 135, yeah, that's very nice. So, yeah, let's look what Bramba is doing. Oh, he actually plays a more 
well, not quite defensive, but less forward barracks. Yeah, why why would he build it like in front of the Agra? It's, it's would be bad. <laughs> no, but you could perhaps like build it over here and just completely go around the Agra. No, and and then just having way too long to do anything. <laughs> eh, I guess maybe I've played StarCraft two a bit too much, where Terrans just like build <laughs> barracks in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, that may be the case. <laughs> so there's actually still like a goat over here as well that choice. no one has collected. But yeah, like the Ottoman barracks is finished before India is even colonial. Luckily, though, Let's his see. wonder to age up is also a barracks, so he's not. But his first shipment was seven hundred wood, so that will be a probably an added up foundry. And yes, there it is. Yeah, and he is, he actually went for stagecoach, which is kind of peculiar against an agra for this aggressive. I'm not sure if I agree with the choice to be honest. Uh, because in, I, I think India can't really push into this. I guess he's going to it's use his Janissaries to put pressure on so that India can't siege this down. Yeah, and there are the first five ones. Yeah. India should probably get this TP though. He sees the stagecoach and there's no reason not to get it. That's incredibly safe. Especially with where the barracks for Bramboy is positioned. Yeah, India may be losing villager. Uh, that one's nope. probably... Oh, wow. That was really close. <laughs> And yeah, he is actually just going to siege this trading post instead of uh, attacking those Janissaries. I guess it kind of makes sense because the moment Abyss guns are on the field, it's going to be a lot more difficult to utilize these uh, Sepoy. Yeah, but now we we get to see why I said Otto just beat India in Colonial at least. Since uh, he's shipping 700 gold and going for Gen Abus, yeah, whereas Abus India are just, just go so difficult Sepoy. to beat. Especially because as India, like your hand calf, the Sawars, they just have such low hit points. Yeah, very bad unit. Yeah, and especially because the... If I'm not mistaken, the Abyss guns do siege damage, which means that range resist doesn't work against them, so the Sawars are even worse against them, and they are against, you know, other skirmisher type units. Oh wow, and now even 600 gold for Brambo. Yeah, it is siege attacks, so... These Abyss guns are incredibly dangerous. Yeah, and if Mr. Timmy doesn't watch his army now, he will lose everything and will steamroll into a win for Ramboy. Yeah, only losing a single Sepoy, not the worst, but obviously not ideal. Especially because they also deal splash damage, so a lot of his other units got some damage Meanwhile, on them as well. a raid, I think? Yeah, that, that certainly looks like a raid. I can't imagine what those Sepoys would be doing Slowly there. Slowly creeping around there. Oh, but this is really bad for Mr. Timmy. Oh, well, bad choice. He n well, actually, he could probably turn around and get on the Abyss guns now because the Janissaries are kind of out of position, but... Yeah, but he just needs to catch those, to be honest. Yeah. He needs to get out of here, though, somehow. He might need to sacrifice his elephants. It was a nice stomp, though. Yeah, for sure. Uh, he's gonna lose at least... Oh, that's very smart of him, just, like, putting his elephants on a different path than his army. But, yeah, this is really bad. He is going to lose both his elephants here, though, unless Bramboy doesn't... Okay, he forgot to attack move. Oh, and India with his uh, third shipment, uh, foreign logging. And let's see if Bramboy noticed the Sepoy. He might have been too busy microwing. Uh, no, he does notice them, okay. So and yeah, they, they shouldn't do anything. Have, besides they should just have arrived item. while the fight was taking place. Yeah. Oh, and there's some reinforcing Abyss guns here. So yeah, these Sepoy just idle some villagers. Hmm. India really needs to take this TP, like... It is stagecoach, it's, it's basically free. You pay 200 wood and after like 3 or 4 passes you're going to get that back already. Yeah, but I don't know if you can really afford this right now. He needs to add a stable or something. Uh, he already has a stable. Oh, he has. See, I'm, I'm not that attentive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just look at how many more shipments that Ottoman has sent because of the DPs. And just killing some units as well, of course. This is really bad for India. He needs to do something quickly here. Yeah, and oh, I and guess, the Sepoys got the caught India as well. Guy doesn't really know what to do right now, just standing around with his units. Yeah, look at the. Sorry for that. Look at the military population graph. Oh, yeah. I mean, he is really far ahead economically, so he does have that going for him, but. 
He's really low on coin, actually. He has way too much food. Like, I hope he's on a tendon to H here, because then Bromboy will probably just crush him. He needs to get something more out before he can H. I don't know, man. Like, this, this matchup, I think, is really bad for India in general. If you don't have something fancy, or like a special BO, you just lose. Oh, and uh, Brambo actually doesn't even have market upgrades, so yeah, economy-wise, Mr. Tibi is actually very far ahead. He just needs to not die. And that's going to be a problem, because if you look at the Ottoman mass, like, this is just massive. And Brambo adding in a stable as well, and adding in some Hussar now. And this is going to be very difficult. Yeah, he just waited for his three Hussar shipment, and I imagine he will go now. This army is massive. Yeah, like, what, what Timmy has to do now is just draw everything back, maybe kite some Janissaries off with his Gurkha, and then do something. <laughs> yeah, the problem is, like, Mr. Timmy was also not macroing the greatest, like, he has a lot of unspent resources, especially food, so... Hmm. Yeah, but he's sending a shipment now, so... Yeah, this is so many Abyss guns, how do you deal with this as India? You don't. <laughs> I mean, I guess the Agra Fort can kill some of them eventually. Yeah, the Agra is pretty decent against those Abyss guns. Oh, there's the Sours and the Sea... Uh, the, the Sea Boy. The Genesis is actually slightly out of position, but there's just not enough Sours here. Yeah, but now Timmy wastes all his army, so... Yeah. That should be a GG now, to be honest. Well, there is some more Sours coming in, but this time the Sea... or I keep calling it the Sea Boy. The Janissaries are a lot closer to the Abyss, so these Sours shouldn't do anything. Well, he just keeps wasting them. Yeah, and like if you notice, like the Abyss guns are actually one-shotting the Sours with an entire volley. Yeah. So... I guess Timmy's last resort will be... Uh, min 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 <laughs> and... <laughs> Yeah, instead of a stable, he probably should have to. just added in a second barracks, or maybe just add a stable in earlier so he can get the Sours out earlier, because Sours are really, really bad if you don't have a really big mass of them. Ah, oh, man, like, I think the only thing, uh, maybe being able to rescue him would be your roomies now, but no age up. Yeah, you need to be in the or fortress for those to, uh, to get your roomies. I mean, technically speaking, maybe he can do something crazy with Colonial Militia, it isn't his deck, but this is just so much stuff. Yeah, and now even some raids going on from Bramboy. Yeah, and when this house uh, gets destroyed, he's actually going to be housed. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's trying to get a consulate up. Nope. But Bramboy is not going to allow that. Oh, that might have actually um, been something he needed to do earlier as well, because you can get uh, Hussar from that consulate, and they are a lot better than Sawars. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if Mr. Timmy actually has laid in India that open. Uh, I think he's just, in general, somewhat rusty. Could be. But yeah, he, he just has way too much unspent resource at the moment. Although, Bromboy, his macro is actually slipping a bit as well. He should probably rebuild the TP as well, but yeah, but at Timmy this point I don't think it matters. Doing something good with those servers now. He's raiding instead of wasting. Oh, why is Bromboy pulling back his entire army just to stop those five sowars? I, I don't know. But that oh, but why is Timmy oh. running his sowars through the army? Yeah, <laughs> that's an equal mistake, I suppose. No, now deleting them. Yeah, like that's actually a really big mistake by Timmy. Like five sowars is not going to do. Anything against this army, the best thing you can do with like a small batch of calf is just jam them into the opponent's base and pray to God he misplays and pulls back way too much to stop it. Yeah, like he actually saved us himself some time now, a few seconds. Yeah, and if those uh, sours were over here, then yeah. that entire Ottoman army might have actually gone all the way back to Bramboy's base, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well... I I'm pretty sure that Bramboy no, isn't being serious about yeah. this. 
Because he actually does have a mosque, so... Yeah. I don't see the tags, so... though. Oh, and this is... I think this is just way too greedy by... Um, Mr. Timmy. Like, if you look at text research, you see that... All this time, he's actually been researching more and more market upgrades. Oh, yeah. Which he just doesn't need at the moment. What he needs is, like, stuff. <laughs> Not market upgrades. But maybe if Brumboy lets Mr. Timmy get into Fortress Age. Yeah, but I don't see that happening. And now with the, the second TP being rebuilt, like, Brumboy isn't even that far behind economy-wise. And I'm just, Militia did I'm get just trying to see some some options for Timmy, but yeah. Yeah, it's going to be very difficult. But we do have Colonial Militia now, so who knows? Azamk has been pulling miracles with Colonial Militia. Maybe Mr. Timmy can as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he's totally Azamk. Yeah. I mean, he is getting close to having enough for Fortress. <laughs> no, wait, never mind. He just spent more resources. Ah, uh, man. But I guess he's... No, he's not saving up the Sepoy, he's wasting them probably again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. I mean, this would actually be a great opportunity for the Spearman Colonial Militia pop, because obviously the Hussars aren't that great against them. Mm -hmm. And Abus aren't exactly the greatest in hand attack mode either, but yeah, the Genissaries are arriving now, so... That yeah, that, that's too big of a mass, even with Colonial Militia coming. And it is there. And yeah, still. the Sawar is running through the Janissaries as well. And I mean, it doesn't even matter, like, the Abus alone can beat uh, the Sawars at the moment just because of the range resist ignore and Sawars being pretty bad. Well, that was the last resort, and now we will probably see the GG. I mean, he might be able to hold this because soon he can repair his town center because of it not being sieged, but yeah. And now he's deleting three more Sawas. Yeah, this, is, this is not gonna be enough. He, he was actually repairing the town center for a while there, but... <laughs> yeah, and Brown Boy actually aging up meanwhile. Yeah. This is, uh, this is GG for sure. We, we've seen some miracle comebacks in these tournaments before, but this I, I be highly doubt that this will become one of those. <laughs> they usually involve the person that comes back suddenly being Fortress, not the guy ahead suddenly being Fortress. <laughs> and Timmy actually trying to do something with allying with the Ottoman now. <laughs> Oh, where did he manage to build this? Oh! <laughs> I mean, he does have enough um, export for two batches of Hussar, I think, but... Uh, does he really think he can turn it around? I don't actually think he has a shipment point to get those Hussar, so... Uh, <laughs> may maybe he just realized. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think he's writing something. He that let's see. I think easy. I think it is. Yeah, easy. <laughs> oh man, Let, let's just say this is trolling and not bad sportsmanship or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is pretty BM. Oh man, Timmy really. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, does Brabo have a trade card in this deck? No, he doesn't. What is he talking about then? Mm. Let's see if these three gardeners can uh, turn this game around. Oh, six yeah, even. Yeah. Wait, where is the other three? Oh, they're raiding. Yeah, he's he's coming back into the game. No worries. <laughs> Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and another raid over here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, India still has more economic population, but... Well, not even, because there's two stagecoach TPs. Although I guess the, the market upgrades, yeah, I, I guess. 
at this point, Brumboy just plays whatever he wants, not watching anything. I mean, at this point, Brumboy probably just goes industrial. Yeah, he has enough resources to go industrial. <laughs> Revolution! Uh, or maybe just Imperial and get Spice, so he can find out where Timmy is. <laughs> Yeah, but no, I, no I like how his villagers actually Timmy, killed but... like one and a half sours over here. Yeah, but no offense to Timmy, I'd, I'd really like him to resign soon. <laughs> There's like a random goat over here as well that he accidentally picked up. <laughs> oh no no no! The gardeners, be careful! <laughs> Ooh, ow! And yep, that's some more calf being deleted yeah, by Timmy. Timmy really doesn't like his calf. Yeah, for sure. He almost has enough for another batch of gardeners, though, so I guess he's fine here. <laughs> Some Gurkhas as well. I like how Brum actually finished all of these walls. <laughs> oh, man. Wood crafting. Okay, I'm gonna go look what that card does. Ah, it's 20% gather rate for wood. Does he mm. really have nothing better to send? Um, let's see. Mm, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I like the random gate as well. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I I think Bram is talking about some fictional piece of work. Yeah, and and now still he's. I mean, this is actually a decent trade for Timmy because Gurkha yeah. do pretty well against Janissaries. Maybe Bramboy will even waste this. Well, he's industrial, so... I like how he hasn't even researched his veteran Genesaries yet. Yeah. Huh. <sighs> Meanwhile, Mr. Timmy pulling off the Eagle Mutt I Never Will Resign strategy. Hey, if you never resign, you don't ever resign. I, I won't ever resign strategy. Yeah, I mean, that makes you win more games, because when you resign, you lose. So if you don't resign, you obviously don't lose. That's how that works. Yeah. Meanwhile, another raid coming. Oh, wow, the mosque in Industrial actually looks pretty cool. He's raiding the houses, it seems. Okay. Another oh, a factory. factory. <laughs> oh, man, imagine if, like, the Hussar were on top of the TC at that point. Uh, um. Where is he going with that factory wagon? What the fuck? He just doesn't watch it at all, I think. Yeah, maybe he just like has a rally point over there because maybe he was like ready to this mine or whatever. <laughs> or to the hunts over there and like his factory wagon is no going going over there. Maybe those villagers will take it down. Uh, I doubt that. <laughs> Ma like if this factory wagon goes over the, the elephant and Mr. Timmy just happens to be watching that, he will know where the factory is. <laughs> Oh, and it seems that Mr. Timmy is losing what little remain of his army. Oh, yeah, to the uh, Apis guns, of course, yeah. Where did he get two guards Spahi from? Is that like an age up option or something? Huh? He has two Spahi. Two Spahi? You sure that's. Is it an oh, age up? I guess you can age up with them, yeah. Okay. Oh, and there we go, he finally sends the Mughal architecture, making his buildings cheaper and quicker to build. Finally, we waited for this. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Oh, oh, the Avius gun's getting caught a bit here. What, better? Oh. <laughs> oh, man, is Brahma really wasting this somehow? Oh. Ah, <laughs> oh, no, he isn't. <laughs> That that is painful. Actually, that's more interesting here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he did put the factory over there as well. Oh, I forgot to put Skype on. Do not disturb. So we are playing this who wins game right now. Once by versus four, so was who wins. <laughs> Oh man, really? <laughs> uh, this is this is quite a thing. Oh, they're on coin as well, which is terrible. <laughs> uh, 
he finally yes. resigns. <laughs> the first game goes to. I, I'm Mr. sorry to lose Grumble. my hype, but. <laughs> <laughs> Is it even worth to look at the po Oh, he actually got us the most resources, Timmy. That's Interesting. Good, Timmy. <laughs> he also made the most military units, actually. Yeah, he was just wasting them. Yeah. I guess every fight until Bramboy was too bored to care went for Bramboy. <laughs> yeah. I know probably Castle should always stay focused and, and hyped, but this was just meh. Meh. Uh, these are best of threes, correct? Yeah, exactly. Next map is Malaysia. I see. So let's just wait till the game is hosted. And oh, awesome. the game already is hosted, so I guess I should join then. Game not listed. And also, uh, they can pick whatever the if they want. There is no restrictions to... Picking a civilization now. Ah, you could okay. as well play this matchup again. Ah, okay, so Bramboy has to go in 20 minutes, it seems. Let's just hope they finish it before. <laughs> Bramboy is telling uh, Timmy that he needs to uh, play quicker and such because he has a meeting in like 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, so it's now Aztecs versus India. Game 2 on Malaysia. So if Mr. Timmy can win this game, it will go to a third uh, game, but seeing how bad it went for him in the first game, we'll have to see if he's able to do that. Yeah, well, new game, new luck, I guess. So I just realized that near the minimap, there is a button that makes all military units move to a single location on the map. I was not aware of that. You're too good, you don't need that. Yeah. But in the bottom left of the map, in the color blue, playing as Aztecs, we do have Mr. Bramboy. And in the top right corner, it's Mr. Timmy, playing as India once again. In the top right corner, exactly. Corner. I said corner. Oh, okay. Your German accent made me uh, confused. Oh, I I'm sad. <laughs> I'll, I'll need to have some more lessons with Queen, obviously. It's not that bad. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I actually a lot of hunt on this map. Obviously, I don't know how much food these Saigas have because I'm playing Japan, so I don't see that, but that's a lot of animals. Um, to be honest, mostly on this map is about uh, securing those few hunts. Yeah, they, they are quite <laughs> far apart. But there's a lot of animals per uh, hunt. And also they're pretty lucky, at least Bramboy, that he doesn't have such, an, such a hunt. Because that's an unheardable one. Oh, okay. They, they won't ever go around the forest. That's another thing I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, it's it's the point where many Actually, games in Malaysia have been here. decided. Wait, no, that one is beginning. Wait, is it not depending on what animal it is? Like, how do you see it's unheardable? No, no, I, I just said unheardable because they, they won't go around the forest. Ah, okay, like that. 
And yeah. there's the anthem again. <laughs> Finally. Like, I'm half tempted to start the Belgian one, but first of all, I'm a caster, so that might be a bit impolite, and also, I don't know the entire thing. And for me, it would just be awkward to... to <laughs> just, now boast out the German one. <laughs> well, at least one person in this game would understand it. <laughs> Let's take all a right, look so. at the treasure. 60 foot for Mr. Timmy. Always nice, of course, in H1, getting some faster age up timing. Bramboy working on a 35 wood. You can always use that. Wood's a great resource to get in treasures. Yeah, but, but I'm confused that none of those players really want to collect the cows. Yeah, especially India. Yeah. Even keeping his explorers together. Oh, it's probably because one of them is severely damaged. But he might as well scout with him. I suppose so. Very standard shipments, obviously. Like, those cows, uh, or water buffaloes, however you want it, are actually better than, like, a, let's say, 50 wood treasure or something. Uh, that depends on how long cows. you expect this game to go, but yeah, those cows are really, really strong. Maybe attack with cows. <laughs> Mr. Timmy should especially get these two, like, they're so close to his base, and he knows they're there because his other cow scouted them. Yeah, maybe he's getting them now, yeah, he does. Another random cow that was very close to an explorer. Let's see if Bramboy returns for it. <laughs> yeah, and the Agrafort going up at a very, let's say, not, not bad place, but shielding one I hunt. I think it's a bit ambitious. Ambitious against Aztec. Although on this map, I guess you need to be somewhat aggressive with your stuff just because of how far your third and fourth hunt are. Yeah, but if he had properly scouted, I think here it would have been better, like almost shielding, shielding up the second or third hunt and securing a gold mine. Yeah, for sure. And if you want to put it there to defend this hurt, you probably want to have it a bit more like here, so it yeah, has some natural exactly. cover from the trees. No, Mr. Timmy, I don't know what you're saying. Ooh, very defensive warhead from Aztec, that's interesting. Did he actually scout the Agrafo? Um, I'm pretty sure he did. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't get a lot of sleep. So... I will just check the decks for him. A few seconds. Yeah, let's see if they Oh, water deck from Aztec, actually. Oh, but this is a very poor choice. He has the two canoes in his deck, but there is no <laughs> home city shipment on the water. So this is just a card he can't actually ship. I'm guessing it's just yeah. his standard water deck that he picked, and it just happens to have that card in it, but... Yeah, could be. Oh, this poor tiger getting shot in the face by a cannon. Wow, somehow... this tiger just made a brick fall off that wall! Oh, wow. That's one heck of an impressive tiger. Yeah, maybe he's one of those Marvel tigers. Like having... Iron armor or something. That Agra Fort does not do a lot of damage. <laughs> it had to shoot that tiger like 10 times to kill it. Alright, but Brambo actually going for a market now? Yeah, I guess he's gonna play a more economic playstyle. Yeah, I mean, what does he have to fear? Oh, only a two Puma Spearman badge. Oh no, it was four. Never mind. Why is he starting Puma? That seems... I guess for so was. He's sending the mace? Yes, he does, here. But why is and he now expecting he's counter to India army early? <laughs> I don't know what Mr. Timmy is doing. So he's just gonna go pike mace then, or...? Yeah, I guess, because the pikes will aim for your servers. Yeah, I feel like 4 Sour's first H2 shipment is very, very peculiar. 
but those are too many set points to kill for those maids now. Yeah, especially he... with the help from those sours. Yeah, and now Bramboy is seeing that the chief doesn't have a cover mode feature anymore. Yeah. This aggro has taken quite a bit of damage though. Puma Spearman having a lot of siege of course, but his maze are just left to die here. Yeah, I feel Bramboy just... And even more yeah. pipemen coming out and there's nothing to stop DC boy. Huh. He well, needs another shipment nice like shipment. very very soon just to get more maze out. Please tell me you're not making more pikemen. Okay, yeah, he is making puma now. Or maze now. Yeah, I guess if he if he ships like nine maze and then keeps up his production, it might be okay. That's a lot of sea poido. India isn't supposed to completely wreck the Aztec there. <laughs> There's the first five batch, and there's the nine maze, so... And yeah, India is uh, falling back. But yeah, look at the recalculated economic population. He's nine ahead. Let's take a look at decks. Neither of them has a market, so India is just ahead in deck here. Well, the Aztec has a market. Or in... Um, yeah, but no upgrades, I think. I don't see anything in decks completed. Oh yeah, just like a shield or something. Yeah, maybe he was intending to get upgrades, but he forgot. Are you sure he has my? Oh yeah. Yeah, and then forgot his army, and then oh. <laughs> so yeah, India is just quite far ahead here. I mean, Aztec is catching up an army. Yeah, that's what Aztec does. Yeah, and that's actually going to be problematic because the more mace are uh, added in here, the more difficult it will become for the India player to actually do something about it. He is adding in Gurkha now. Yeah, Mr. Timmy is playing much better now. For sure. He does need a market, though. Okay, and there is the market for India. Let's see. And there we go. Hunting Eagles. He already has blanket filters as well. And I do think that Brahm actually needs to do something relatively soon here, because India is one of those sieves that can actually boom quite aggressively. Yeah, now even adding a caravansary, or let's say stable. I think it's pronounced caravanserai, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, that's, that's a German pronunciation, caravanserai, but... <laughs> 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 I tried to Englify it. <laughs> I, I think it's pronounced I at the end. Alright, caravanserai. But yeah, that, that's irrelevant at the moment. More pikemen, more mace. But there, there are some Gurkha. I'm not sure how Gurkha compare to Mace in Colonial. Gurkha Let's see. are much better than Mace. Yeah, but the uh, Mace are also quite a bit cheaper. But yeah, the Gurkha do outrange them. That's what I was mainly worried about. Because yes, I know that Gurkha get more range with H. But even in H2, they already outrange them. So that's good. Well, yeah, that's the reason why India gets so good in late H2. Which we are approaching right now. <laughs> Yeah, and there's the 300 export consulate going up. We'll have to see what he goes for, but I would imagine Ottoman also, over here. Yeah. Because British musketeers are not going to do a lot against the current army. And now Brambo is going to waste his army, probably? Uh, he's not going to waste it. He's going to try and poking a bit in here, but he's taking quite a bit of fire from this aggro fort. But, like, the more often I say that, like, the more I start to realize just how insignificant this sometimes feels, because just look at how little damage this aggro fort does. <laughs> I mean, it obviously helps, but... Yeah, now... I guess with Maze it actually is a lot more relevant than with most other units, just because Maze are really low hit point units. But the oh, is probably gonna go down here. Oh, wow, that was a pretty big stomp. Yeah, maybe, actually, the Aztec is alright here. Yeah, he, he's fine, but I don't think he's gonna get the aggro fort down just yet until he wants... Unless he wants to sacrifice quite a bit for the... Ooh, the Sours! Oh, man, Timmy. That is painful. I think he just... There's the there's the Ottoman Minutemen, though. Yeah, but he might have blew in his advantage. I think he's fine. He needs to get the Gurkha out of melee range with these Spikemen, though. Yeah, he doesn't really attempt to kite, even. Yeah, this is not ideal. Oh, yeah, it, it seems he just threw his advantage. Yeah, especially once the aggro fort went down, there is no reason not to kite. 
Hmm. Well, now that's interesting. Can we see what he got from the Ottoman concert? Okay, he got the Miniman at least, and I'm not sure and if you can the see villagers. the villagers, but... He, he just got the four villagers. It, oh yeah, this is the text completed, okay, so yeah, he does have them now. And, and I, I think the will. Gardener batch costs 400? Mm, could be. But he might want to switch to British Consulate now to get some extra hit points on his army. One thing to note though is that a lot of the pikemen actually die, but yeah, Brambo is smartly reinforcing them already. Yeah, I think Mr. Timmy just lost focus there. Yeah, and he's going pure sour at the moment, which... <laughs> I mm. mean... Yeah, yeah he's, he's trying some raids. If his infantry mass was still alive, this would be fine, but... He is again floating a lot of resources. I'm not sure if the 600 coin just arrived and he's saving for an Aegip. No, no he's, he's just... From his count, he still makes units. Yeah, so he's just slipping a bit on the macro again. Although, these Sawars are doing a very good job at preventing Bramboy from pushing. Yeah. I mean, he might actually be able to catch these maze if he's uh, yeah, smart I mean... about this, because the entire Pike army is actually chasing a couple of Sawars here. But he doesn't know, know that the maze are there, so... <laughs> Again, overreacting so hard. Yeah, for sure. And now some so was are dead. Yeah, I, I agree with staying to pick off like one or two of the maze, but you do have to pull back once the pikes can in. And now even coyotes come, so... Yeah, coyotes are pretty good against towers as well, right? They're just a pretty good all-round unit, I think. Not particularly good against calf, as you see right now. Yeah, I think the only thing that really, really beats Coyote is, like, Doppels and Samurai. <laughs> uh, Hussars do fine, but not so well. Well, like, Hussar is also a lot more expensive than Coyote, so... Yeah. I guess look at the Coyote, it's 85 food and 25 wood, that's nothing. Yeah, but I guess Bramboy will just have to right-click now. Yeah. I mean, there is... A decent number of units from India somewhere, according to the military population graph. I just don't know where. I guess yeah. they're just spread out a bit. Oh, and I guess it's these gardeners are actually... camels and horses. Yeah, th these gardeners are actually two population, of course, so that's probably why. Yeah, but... I don't know. If it just reinforces with more pikes, then... Yeah, there's more pikes than... Like. And, and Timmy would really do good if he stops drag boxing and starts kiting those skirms. Yeah, he really should have gone heavier on the Gurkha. Like, Gurkha can really punish this army composition of Bram. And there we go. Bram boy not caring anymo anymore about his villages. <laughs> 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 I mean, at this point, it's probably not even that bad of a plan just because of how ahead he is in military. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, and the Gurkha are unprotected now. Oh man. Yeah, that that's unfortunate. And again, the calf smashing into the pikeman. Ah, <laughs> uh, Timmy really does like to delete his calf. For sure. Oh, just look at these hours. They date like three or four hits. Yeah, well, we'll see if Timmy drags this out again. I mean, there is some irregulars in the back here, and most of the mace are dealt with now, so Brum does have to be somewhat careful. Yeah, might be. But he still has a, a lot of coyote, so he should be fine here. And yeah, he, yeah. he realized it like, wait, I have 10 coyote, he has Minutemen <laughs> and Gurga. <laughs> Why am I so, retreating? Yeah. We will see if uh, Timmy actually drags this out because Bramboy has to go in five minutes or so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, the hunts are somewhat running. Well, not low, but like. In places where they are unsafe, so that his random sour rates can do a lot more. But the problem is, of course, his hunts are running low as well, so... Well, yeah, his, his villages are forced off there. Yeah, and his mines are actually running out as well. 
Yeah, like if you just win some villages on food there. Well, look at look at this food count. Oh wow. And look at Bram's coin count. <laughs> Did he shed gold? Probably. Uh, no, he didn't. Oh wow. That's just over gather. Yeah. He actually shipped schooners as well now, so... Yeah, now the, the new Gukas died. Yeah. Well, there is some sours there now, and the pikemen are reasonably far away, but obviously Mr. Timmy is... Very, yeah, very far behind here. Is sloppy again. Yeah, this is... Um, very, very bad for Mr. Timmy. We do see Colonial Militia again, yeah. but... Maybe he'll call it for no reason now. You can see. <laughs> oh, he actually can't. Now the market is down. Yeah, I, I don't think that matters, though. He had pretty much oh, wow. In, everything. He, he tries to resort on water. <laughs> Without schooners. <laughs> Without anything resembling schooners or something like that, or even a, a water card in his deck. I mean, like, to be fair, if he can get out two warships and a town now center on the, the on the coast, then Bramboy cannot take that. Yeah, but now the militias are coming out. Yeah, the wrong ones though. Also dying. And they're not even attacking. <laughs> and there it begins again. <laughs> like, if Timmy is serious about wanting to win this game still and what is his plan, he needs to get out at least one warship, yeah. get uh, a dock here as well, and, you know, well, prevent these villagers from building a dock just... over there. And make sure that he has permanent control of this coast and try to get a TC like here or something. And then he can control this part of the water. Yeah, I, I know you're trying to to make something up how we can possibly win now, but. <laughs> yeah. It, it's just. Yeah. Not theory. really possible. <laughs> no, he, uh, especially no, because he, le he let the dog go up. Like. Because the dock is up, there is literally no way he can win. Before that, right. there was like this so, small chance, but... We see Bramboy winning against Mr. Timmy. 2-0. Yeah, and again, very similar story to the previous game. Mr. Timmy gathering the most resources, but just unable to spend them. Yeah, and, and continuously wasting his army. Yeah, if you look at like the two really big fights in the post game on the military population graph you can just see that Mr. Timmy loses way more than Bramboy and he can still mass up something that's about the same as Bramboy's army but then just loses it again and... mm, well if you see the first spike where uh, Bramboy actually lost his mace to the Agra Timmy stopped producing units for some time yeah and in the end, he got just outmassed, and they traded actually pretty evenly. But since the Aztec units are way cheaper, that's better for the Aztec guy. For sure. And, like, he also got outcompositioned uh, somewhat. Especially at the end, where he kept making Gurkha against um, yeah. Coyote. Yeah, he oh, probably well. just needed to add in like a second barracks earlier, or a second stable, just something because he could not spend his food. All right, so 